Hello, hello everybody, how are you? Welcome back. I'm really sorry it's taken me so long to do this video. Um, it wasn't deliberate, but you know, uh, this video is explaining what happened and what went on. First of all, uh, the week or the days following my last video, which was the, the bashing the boss uh, that long ago, uh, the weather was just terrible. The weather was awful, so I couldn't do any filming. And then on that weekend, uh, I, have a stag, I had a stag do to go to. So uh, I went to Rachel's house on the Thursday and the Friday, spent that spent those days there. I then from there got the train down to Newcastle for my friend Callum's stag do. Um, it's not it wasn't really my cup of tea. It's the sort of thing where you, you do sort of pub crawls and all the rest of it and get absolutely polluted. I don't mind pubs, I don't mind getting drunk or all the rest of it, that's all good fun, but in this sort of establishment sort of half pub, half clubs and they're just thumping music in all the dance floors and all that crap and I just can't be arsed by any of that sort of stuff, it's really just not me but it was for Callum and he had a good time and we all had a good laugh to be honest and it was a, yeah, it was a good night, just like I say, not my cup of tea at all um, we did manage to get some really stupid clothes for Callum as you can see because he was a stag and that's just the rules it wasn't deliberate but we did actually uh, manage to make him look like the uh, character on Hot Fuzz that gets caught shoplifting <laughs> that, it was co a pure coincidence, somebody pointed that out and said, oh yeah, didn't mean that, didn't mean that at all. Uh, but there you are, Callum looking like an idiot. And then Callum, also looking like an idiot, stood bolt upright, but fast asleep. <laughs> he was absolutely hammered, although he did bounce back remarkably well after that sort of half an hour nap, or maybe it was longer than that, I can't really remember, but um, he, did, he did quite well after that, so there you are, not too bad. It was a rather heavy night, as you can imagine, but uh, the problem was for me, uh, my immune system took a bit of a hit because, you know, we were absolutely lashed and up late and all the rest of it. When I went back to Rachel's on the Sunday, down, I obviously got the train uh, back up, uh, first to Edinburgh, then to Stirling. She brought home a virus, I think, from work because she's a, a receptionist at a doctor's surgery. And, uh, you know, I caught that. And then basically when I went home for that entire week following, which was... Last week, as I'm recording this, I had this virusy thing, and it was, you know, running, nose running like a tap. I had headaches and sore throat. My my tonsils were all inflamed and everything. So that took me uh, a few days to get over that, really. And then when I was better, uh, I didn't really have time to do any filming or anything because the the Alfa Romeo's um, front near side top control arm was. Um, the, the, the ball joint on it was knackered, it was squealing and creaking, but it was also making the car track all over the place. It was a nightmare to drive. So I had to go to my, my dad's house, which he's got all the tools, and we sat and we did that for a day, repaired that. Another job I managed to do for the Alpha was the uh, surround on the windows control, the window switch control on the driver's side, and the finish is awful. Uh, it's a sort of soft touch finish that Alpha used throughout the, the interior, actually and it gets all tacky and horrible as it degrades over the years. Well, it needed done really badly. So I found out after doing some research on the internet, you could use Vanish Oxy Action, the sort of uh, stain remover stuff. You put two scoops of that in a bucket with pretty much boiling water, and you drop this thing in it, and it, over 20 minutes or so, it strips the finish completely. It's amazing what it does. You can just wipe it with your finger, it comes right off. So you strip the finish down, and then what I've done is I used plastic coat, which I think is awesome stuff. I've never used it before. Sorry, not plastic coat, plastic dip. I don't know if it's the same thing. Plastic dip. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with plastic dip, it's cool. It's it's it comes in an aerosol can like a paint, but it's not paint. It's like a spray-on rubber finish. It's mental. Uh, I mean, it's quite impressive, really. So use that, and the result is great. It's it's so so much better. I'm much happier with it. Unfortunately, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. Because on the way home, to mine, from my dad's house, or rather my mum and dad's house, um, the exhaust collapsed on the inside, my back box collapsed. So it wasn't just, it suddenly got loud, it got horrendously loud and the car sort of lost power. Because the, the actual exhaust system is blocked to a point. Uh, listen to this. isn't it? It's really terrible. Um, so I can't really drive anywhere. 
Uh, so if I have to do some filming, I'm gonna have to do it within sort of walking distance. So, um, uh, otherwise, I just I just can't go anywhere. Uh, and that's 65 pounds for the new exhaust. I really didn't want to have to buy, but uh, there you are. It's needing done. It's not all bad news though. Uh, my friend Scott came around on Saturday. This Saturday just gone um, because he's left his Fiesta. He's got a Fiesta diesel sitting at my house because it failed its end with you on a mission. So we were doing some work on it, changing the glow plugs, etc. But we had a really good day. The weather was beautiful on Saturday. We changed the glow plugs over. The smoking that his Fiesta had seems to have been solved a little bit. It still smokes a little bit when it first starts, but it is a diesel. It used to smoke constantly after it started, um, even when it's warmed up. Um, it seems to have cured that, so we reckon it'll pass its MOT now. So we did that in the morning. Like I said, the weather was awesome, so we decided to go fishing. Went fishing and it caught a, a rainbow trout, uh, first of all, on a, if you're a fisherman, this will interest you, on a Abu Garcia 10 gram Toby. I then I fitted a silver Meps Aglia 3, number 3 spinner and caught a wild brown trout, which is the first time I've ever caught a wild brown trout in my life. I was really pleased with that. We went back to mine afterwards. Unfortunately, Scott actually, he hooked three fish. Well, technically he hooked only, he only hooked two. The third, the, the second of the of the three was sort of like, it grabbed it and spat it straight away, so it wasn't really hooked. But I don't know if it was inexperienced or bad luck, but he, he didn't get, get any of the three. Um, so we went back to mine. Had a barbecue, burgers, steak, and the uh, brown trout I hooked. Absolutely delicious. Uh, we had the fire pit going, we got drunk, and we played LAN games. We played the PC on the LAN until 4 in the morning. And yeah, it was a good, good, good time. One of the best days I've had this year so far. Probably the best day I've had this year so far. It was just a really chilled guy day. It was brilliant. Sunday was spent recovering. Yesterday I went to my parents' house, uh, got picked up by Jackie and Matthew, had another barbecue, and today I've actually done about six hours worth of, I guess, auto electrician jobs. Um, basically, uh, there's multi-plugs at the back of the Alphas engine, they're horrendous and they, they tend to go, and I spent six hours rewiring it. It was There's no access, and it was down the back and it was horrible, and I've burnt myself and I've ruined my jumper and all the rest of it. But, yeah, problems, problems, but then it is an after meal. Um, anyway, that's the lowdown, that's what's been going on. So thank you very much for listening, um, and I will get back to you as soon as possible with more videos. So please bear with me, and in the meantime, take care, and I'll catch you later on. See ya.